get ready. Disney's Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World is without doubt one of the best themed theme parks in the world. It also has some top tier attractions like Florida Passage and Expedition Everest. Lands such as Pandora, the world of Avatar, Africa and Asia have left many guests in awe, along with the park's jaw-dropping centerpiece, Tree of Life. With that being said, there is one area of the park that we feel sticks out in comparison to its counterparts, and not in a positive way. The land we are referring to is of course Dinoland USA. In our opinion, Dinoland USA lacks the same high standards set by the other areas of the park. It's widely regarded that the reason for this was due to budget cuts made during the construction of Animal Kingdom. Of course, Disney will say the contrary, and that the whole carny vibe that the land exudes is exactly what they were going for. However, comparatively speaking, we really don't think this narrative fits. In our opinion, we think it's only a matter of time before something is done with the land, whether it's refurbished or completely replaced. But as you might have guessed from the title, we're pretty sure it's going to be the latter. In this video, we're going to speculate on some potential options Walt Disney World has to replace Dino Land USA, and if this is likely to happen sometime in the near future. Before we do though, we would ask you to sub to the channel if you enjoy the content, and give the video a like as it really helps us out a lot. Anyway, let's get into it. Get ready! The story behind Dino Land USA Dino Land USA was part of Animal Kingdom's opening day lineup back in 1998. Upon the grand opening, the land was pretty much as you see it today. The attraction lineup has changed a little, with some of the opening day attractions now closed and others opening in their place. As we alluded to previously, initial plans for Dino Land USA were impacted due to strict budget cuts from the then CEO Michael Eisner. These budget cuts also led to the demise of the planned mythical land Beastly Kingdom. Originally it was planned that Dino Land USA would have two major attractions, one being a coaster called Excavator, as well as a safari type attraction featuring a host of animatronic dinosaurs. Instead, we got Countdown to Extinction, or as you may know it today, Dinosaur. This was said to include elements from both of the original planned attractions. Now it's important to note we're not saying Dinosaur is a bad attraction by any means. In fact, we personally think it's a great attraction. However, we can't help but think the attractions originally planned would have been a much better proposition in this case. One thing we think Disney did very well in order to shift public perception of Dino Land USA was to come up with a good backstory that made the land make sense. We've seen many reputable sources state that their own perception of the land's tackiness has changed after hearing the complex backstory behind it. For context, the story states that Dino Land USA was originally founded in 1947 when some amateur fossil hunters found some dinosaur bones buried under an area of a small highway town. Upon this discovery, they immediately contacted a group of scientists, who then purchased the land for future research and discovery. Following this, the Dino Institute was founded. They officially opened the site as the Fossil Discover Park. Since then, it's been a popular destination for scientists, volunteers, and even grad students looking to uncover more dino secrets. Very quickly, the Dino Institute started to see a lot of success following the conversion of an old fishing lodge into Restaurantosaurus and their newfound ability to bring guests back in time for tours of prehistoric lands. However, this success did not go unnoticed by locals, who also wanted a piece of the pie. This led to two locals, Chester and Hester, converting their gas station into a fossil souvenir shop. Their parking lot was also transformed into a small low-budget amusement park called Chester and Hester's Dinorama. The story touches on the feud this creates between the Dino Institute and Chester and Hester. The Dino Institute is interested in serious scientific discoveries, whilst Chester and Hester want to play down the scientific aspect in favour of creating a cheap tourist trap, inadvertently hurting the Dino Institute's reputation among the scientific community. It's probably fair to draw a comparison here with Walt Disney World itself and cheap tourist attractions that have popped up all around it. As you can tell, the story behind Dino Land USA does a good job in convincing guests that the aesthetic of the land and its low budget carny vibe makes total sense. On the other hand, this does not take away from the fact that the land is off brand from the rest of the park. Even with a good backstory behind it, it doesn't really make it any better in our opinion. What could replace Dino Land USA? With Disney, there is really no shortage of potential options when it comes to lands. However, with Animal Kingdom being a very unique park, it's important that any new land fits in with the park's overall concept of wildlife conservation. 
In recent times, most parks around the world have chosen to build their lands around specific intellectual property. This not only tends to make the design of the land a lot more straightforward, but also helps the park to market the land and easily create a buzz of excitement around its opening. With that being said, Disney has already shown its ability to build amazing lands without the use of IP. Animal Kingdom is a prime example of this, with lands themed to continents such as Asia and Africa. With that being said, we wanted to highlight some concept ideas for lands both IP and non-IP based that we think would be a great addition to the park in place of Dino Land USA. The Amazon Rainforest We think this one is really a no-brainer. The Amazon Rainforest is probably the most diverse place in the world in terms of wildlife, with over 3 million species calling it home. Moreover, it's no secret that the Amazon is endangered, and it's thought that in the last 50 years, about 17% of the rainforest has been destroyed due to deforestation. Off the back of this, it would be a great opportunity for Disney to educate guests on the current dangers facing the Amazon. The knock-on effect of this could then be a boost in public interest around the Amazon, which could help to stop further destruction in the future, fitting into Animal Kingdom's own concept of wildlife conservation perfectly. As well as this, the opportunity for new attractions is seemingly endless, with pretty much any attraction type, coasters, dark rides, etc., suiting a tropical rainforest theme. In terms of Disney IP with an Amazon theme, Jungle Cruise is the obvious standout. However, it's unlikely Disney would look to incorporate this into any Amazon rainforest themed land in Animal Kingdom, due to the presence of the popular Jungle Cruise attraction in Magic Kingdom. Australia. Another non-IP option would be to build a land themed around Australia, said to contain between 200,000 to 300,000 animal species, including 10,000 species of spiders, Australia is another hotbed for animal life. Aside from this, Australia is home to some very unique animals that are popular the world over. These include kangaroos, koalas, dingoes, among others. On top of this, we could also imagine an easy retheme of dinosaur to instead center around the Australian bush and its wildlife, as opposed to its current prehistoric theme. On that note, we want to emphasize that we think the Australian bush is one of the most fascinating places in the world. Spanning nearly 5.6 million kilometers and covering about 70% of the continent, the bush really is a spectacular landscape that Disney could easily model a world-class land from. As a side note to this, Walt Disney World currently has no other areas themed around Australia, so this could be a first for the resort as a whole. Zootopia. Next up, we have an IP-focused land. Zootopia was a movie released under the Disney banner in 2016. The animated movie is set in a city of anthropomorphic animals where the plot sees a rookie bunny cop and a cynical con artist fox having to work together to uncover a conspiracy. The city itself was described as a mammal metropolis, where various animals live and thrive, which in our opinion makes it a good fit for a land in a park like Animal Kingdom. Another key aspect of a Zootopia themed land is that it would be very kid friendly. Dinoland USA is also a kid friendly land with attractions such as the Boneyard Playground, and Disney may want to keep that element with any new land it creates in its place. A further indication that a Zootopia land could be on the horizon is the fact that a variation is already under construction in Shanghai Disneyland. This means Disney have already planned out how this land would look, as well as what attractions it would have. It's a lot easier to rebuild a land from a sibling park than come up with a brand new land altogether, another reason why Zootopia would be a good option. Beastly Kingdom We alluded to this earlier, but Beastly Kingdom was a land originally planned for Animal Kingdom that never made it to construction due to its budget cuts. We actually did a whole video on Beastly Kingdom, which we'll leave a link for in the description that you should definitely check out after this video. Anyway, this land was due to be themed around mythical creatures such as dragons, unicorns and sea monsters. Further to this, the land would be split into a good side and an evil side, with attractions planned for both. Beastly Kingdom was set to be located in the same area that is now occupied by Pandora, the world of Avatar. Upon Pandora opening in 2017, it was said that Beastly Kingdom would be shelved permanently, but Beastly Kingdom could be the perfect replacement for Dinoland USA, as both lands are built around animals, which are not actually in existence, and it's thought Disney sees this as a complementary element to the park. On top of this, the blueprint is already there. With some slight tweaks, the land could be ready to enter construction quite quickly, making it a very attractive proposition for Disney. Will Dinoland USA be replaced anytime soon? Of course, it's very hard to preempt exactly what Disney is thinking and planning. However, we think it's 
pretty safe to assume that if this is something that is on Disney's radar, it's going to be another couple of years before any type of action is taken. The main reason for this is that Walt Disney World is currently focusing on other things. From information currently available, we know that most projects scheduled over the next couple of years are focused on Epcot and Magic Kingdom. With that being said, the permanent closure and demolition of Primeval World has added fuel to the fire that an announcement for this area of the park is coming soon. We're confident it will come, but we're not quite sure about the soon part. If we had to guess, we would say the earliest there will be any sort of announcement around Dinoland USA will be 2024 or later. Another aspect to consider is that Walt Disney World is currently celebrating their 50th anniversary. Celebrations started in October 2021 and are due to run until March 2023. With that, we're assuming the company would want to avoid additional major constructions until after the celebrations have concluded. In summary, we think Dinoland USA will be among the next big projects Walt Disney World announces. We're not sure exactly what this will look like, but it's clear something needs to be done with this land, as it just doesn't meet the standards required to be a part of a Disney park, let alone Animal Kingdom. If you enjoyed this video, check out our video on what we think Universal will eventually replace Marvel Superhero Island with in Islands of Adventure. Let us know in the comments if you think Dinoland USA is on its way out and what you think should replace it. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop it a like and sub to the channel if you haven't already.